Hello, my name is Sydney, Sir Zess and Sohan underscore do, and today I am in a place called Fairlight in East Sussex. I believe this is the first time I'm ever filming in East Sussex on my channel, which is uh, interesting. Um, so I'm, I'm just on a, a little weekend holiday, we're, we're staying in Hastings, and today in Fairlight I thought I'd do some filming because the scenery here is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm actually on this little holiday with my mum, uh, she won't be on camera because she doesn't like to be, um, but uh, we just we just went out for a weekend just to get away, and uh, I decided on our full day here we're gonna go Fairlight, we're gonna walk along the coastline, have a look at the views, um, and I just got the idea of filming because like since I've got here it just looks so nice here. Um, here's some of the landscape just behind me in the car park, which already looks great. Uh, so we're gonna head down to the coast in just a little bit. I am also using uh, my Hastings and Bexhill Battle and Roberts Bridge uh, Ordnance Survey map for today, and uh, it's number 124 for anyone who's interested in uh, what map I might be using today. <laughs> Now Fairlight is a sort of village uh, just outside of Hastings, and here's a great view. You can actually see in the distance, if I zoom in, uh, a part of Kent, which is uh, Dungeness right there on the horizon. You can see the, the power station at Dungeness, and I've, I've been there before in one of my other uh, vlogs. And uh, down there you've got... Um, about there you've got another village next to Fairlight, which is called Fairlight Cove. Uh, so I thought that was quite interesting. We just walked a tiny bit further down this road here. And you can see so much further. You can see all the way to the place called Campbell, which is those beaches down there. And all across Romney Marsh from here. And in the very distance you can even see the North Downs, the hills on the horizon. This view is just fantastic, I haven't... You can see so far in the distance, I, I didn't expect this view at Fairlight. And if I'm not mistaken, I think these hills are where the... Um, the High Weald reaches the coast? Because the High Weald is sort of between the North Downs, which you can see in the distance, and the South Downs, which are in the other direction towards Eastbourne. We've just walked over from the uh, the car park, you can see behind me somewhere, over there, somewhere. Um, and you've got a great view of um, Fairlight right behind me, the whole the whole village and the church. Uh, and it's an amazing view from, we're right by the sea now, if you look uh, behind me you've got the English Channel. And I've just come, I don't know if you can see this anywhere else, but I came to the realisation but I can see both the North Downs over there, and Beachy Head, which is over there, and Beachy Head is um, the end of the South Downs. So, can can you see the North and the South Downs at the same time anywhere else? Because everywhere else that I know of, you've got uh, the High Weald in between. But right here, right now, I can see both of these uh, these hills at the same time. I'll, I'll get a shot of them for you. So on the horizon over there you can sort of see a hill uh, range, which is the North Downs, and then if I turn the camera around, just beyond this little power thing you can see Beachy Head in the distance. Uh, I'll try and point it out. Uh, right about there you've got Beachy Head.
they built a little uh, story on a sign up here, which uh, is quite something. I'll let you pause it if you want to uh, to read this story. This bench here has quite a <laughs> unique um, wording to it, and an amazing view. <laughs> I don't really know if it shows up on camera, but this is a very steep uh, hill we've got to go down and then back up again. <laughs> um, and we've already gone quite a ways. Uh, it's, it's just spectacular though, the scenery is amazing. It's some of the, the best cliffs I've seen in uh, England, uh, at least in quite a long time. Uh, also, a side note that I didn't mention before is that uh, this is actually the final stretch of a footpath called the Saxon Shoreway, which uh, starts off in Gravesend in Kent and follows the majority of the Kent coast and it ends in Hastings. So, anyone who does it from Gravesend to Hastings, as opposed to Hastings to Gravesend, this is one heck of a finish. <laughs> It is pretty darn amazing. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I'm okay. We've just gone through a little wooded section, and we came across this bridge, and a little stream, which I guess goes through the bottom of this valley. And now we've got to climb up the other side. <laughs> right, we made it up that, uh, that hill after going down and then back up again, and that was very steep and exhausting, but... I'm very <laughs> tired after that. Here's the view of the, um, I think, uh, can I get the path in frame? It's sort of down there. <laughs> it's great view, so, and, uh, it's definitely worth it for the views, this walk. <laughs> we just went from the bench over there. And in these trees up here, I don't know if you can see them. But there are horses. The horses are hiding in the trees. <laughs> it's a bit dark in there, so you can't see it very clearly. From this angle, you can really see all the landslides that have happened down here. Uh, we actually started off our walk all the way up there, and we've come all the way down and now back up this side.
But it's amazing to see how this coast is getting eroded away like that. We just went around a little bit from the previous valley because we wanted to see the next valley, even though we're not going to go down the next valley. And it's very windy, so I hope you can hear me. But wow, it looks fantastic. And there's actually people down on the beach if you can see them. Oh, this is fantastic. I love discovering places like this just all the time. And I wonder how those people got down on the beach down there. I suppose maybe you can walk around from Hastings, which is just beyond this hill here. <laughs> Right here, I think we've got a path that used to exist, but right at the end there, I think that's a very steep cliff, possibly. And I'm just standing here. Not that far from the edge. <laughs> We're now leaving where we sat on that bench for a little bit, and following the edge of the, the valley, which should take us back to the main road eventually, <laughs> through these, uh, these trees. So we actually took the wrong path, it's not that one with all the all the twigs. We have to come up to this uh, gate and then go down this path. And that path continues to the next valley, which we got a glimpse of earlier. Just over from this path, you can see some cows sleeping or resting underneath this tree here. That usually means there's a thunderstorm coming, but that's pretty cool. We made it to the top of the valley. Ah, there's the valley behind me there. Wow. <laughs> now we're gonna find the road and head back to the car park and uh, probably look at some other stuff in this area once we've uh, had a bit of time to rest. Here we are. We've made it to the main road, which is just behind me. There is a mosquito on my leg. We just uh, walked off of the road quickly because we saw an amazing view on our way back to Fairlight, and it is fantastic. And there's these two horsies here. Hello! Hey! These horses are very old horses, or ponies. One of them is 27, that's the one here, and this one is 31 years old. Hello! amazing view to live by. Back in Fairlight, and here's a shot of the church that they have here. Some really nice church grounds, and a really Nice church as well. We just stayed at these really nice tea rooms in a Fairlight called uh, the Coast Guard Tea Rooms. Uh, it's the only cafe really in Fairlight. But um, 
it was nice. We we had a omelette and I had a banana milkshake, which was really nice. Now we're just heading back to the car. There's a lot of stuff you can't do at the car park here. There you go. No bike, no swimming, no horses, no barbecue, no campfire, no uh, dog poo, no bike, no bike. Okay, that that one's a bit. Uh, I don't know if what I think of that one. Um, and no camping. Wowzers. But yeah, here we are back at the car park. It's been a lovely time. Nice little cafe, nice seeing the church, and nice going on the walk through the uh, the valley near Fairlight. We're just going to, uh, we're just heading down to Fairlight Cove now, because we want to have a look at what's there, and that might be where I end off the video, because uh, after that we're heading back to Hastings and the hotel. Okay, so I'm now in a place called Pet Level slash Cliff End. Um, it's really nice here, and right behind me you can see where the cliffs that are from Fairlight end, and they, well, also the High Weald, and they slowly turn into uh, what is basically Romney Marsh, uh, which is everything behind me. You can even, across the water, you can see Dungeness. zoom in for you. Right over there you've got Dungeness. You can just about see it on the horizon. And I think pretty much after Hastings, if you head in the Kent direction, this is the next most easily accessible beach, because before this you've got the cliffs just completely between Hastings and Pet Level slash Kiff's Cliffs End. It's actually a really nice beach. <laughs> I wish I could go right up to the edge, and I would do if I uh, was willing to get my shoes a bit sandy slash muddy, but um... Maybe I'll come back here on a day when I want to have a beach day, and I shall do that. But today, this is as close as I'm getting to the to the sea. I, I tried in a number of places, but they're a bit sinky. Um, and it's only, it's just a tiny strip that's sinky, but once you pass that, it's like solid again. But <laughs> I've got to go back in the car in my shoes. But yeah, it's been an amazing day exploring Fairlight, and now here at the beach, and um, I'm about to head back to Hastings, and we're gonna sit down at the hotel and relax because we're a little bit exhausted. Um, this was just a one-off vlog, I thought I'd do it today because we saw some exciting things. Um, I hope you enjoyed, I really did. Um, and uh, I have some exciting stuff coming up throughout the summer, so look out for that. And uh, with this, I shall um, say goodbye. So, goodbye everyone, and thank you for watching.